You know, our next guest from three James Bonds, two Wes Andersons, one Batman, and now he is getting rave reviews for his performance in American fiction. Yeah. Wait a minute, why, why are these books here? I'm not sure. I would imagine that this author, Ellison, is black. That's me, Ellison. Yeah. He is me, and he and I are black. Oh, bingo. No, no bingo, Ned. These books have nothing to do with African-American studies. They're just literature. The, the blackest thing about this one is the ink. American Fiction is in theaters starting Friday. Please welcome Jeffrey Wright. Sweet crowd. Great to yeah. have you here. I saw you, you at the Golden Globes as well, on television, of course, yeah. not in person. I was not there. I was oh, at okay. home. We missed you. Yeah. Well, thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. Was it fun? It was fun. It was fun. I, I hadn't been to one, I guess, in about 20 years. Oh. Uh, I, that, that night, I came home with a little trinket, uh, so with a souvenir. So that I was more fun. One, right. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. For Angels in America. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but no, we, we had a fantastic time. We had a great time. You brought your kids, I right? I brought my kids, yes. Oh, no, I've met your kids before, you actually. Have. You have. Yeah. They're your actually kids are here. here. With us tonight, uh, they're Hi, here kids. tonight. Good looking yeah. kids you got there. Yeah. <laughs> did they behave themselves at the show? They did beautifully. Who were the kids most excited to meet at the Golden Globes? Well, you know, they did get a chance to meet Harrison Ford. And that that's pretty, a good one. That was pretty cool. Yeah. That Harrison cool. Ford is a guy that, like, yeah, you could be 95 years old, you could be 11 years old, and you'll be excited to see Harrison Ford. And you have Ford. an appreciation for him. Yeah, we got to you chat? You, you guys were in a movie together, right? You, you sort Briefly. of, yeah. We were in a movie together uh, back, I think it was 1989. I, if I have a calculator, I think that's, like, about 35 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, one of my first films. My first major film, really. And... Uh, if you can find me in this movie, uh, I'll give you a nickel. It, I'm, I'm, I'm a, a literal bearded blur in the beginning of the film. So he, uh, he plays um, a district attorney. And so they needed, you know, young actors and actors to make up the rest of the office. So I studied politics in college. So you're like, yeah, you think that guy's, I guess, reasonably smart, throw him in there. So I had no idea what I was doing, but Alan Pakula, great legendary director who directed things like All the President's Men and uh, Sophie's Choice, a brilliant, brilliant guy, um, had us uh, rehearse for about a week to make sure that we were going to be authentic when it came time to shoot. So uh, I, 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 I made it over to Queens, I think, and I'm sitting next to Harrison Ford, who at that time was at the peak of his career. Yeah. And if I had a subway token in my pocket to get back home from Queens to Manhattan, I was lucky, you know, I, I was just starting. Uh, but he was so wonderful, he was so, um, so gracious. And he did something one day when we were filming that I never forgot. And I told him so the other day. Um, we were filming, he was on the other side of the set. Uh, Alan Pakula called him, said, uh, Harrison. And he said, sir, and I, I stopped a minute, because it, it was like, whoa, this is not like the fun and games that I expected. This is not like loose in the pants. There's a level of respect and a level of decorum that he's showing here to this man and to the process. And it really, it really stayed with me. Did it, he remember that? He didn't necessarily remember that moment, but when I told him, when I reminded it of him, uh, minded him of it, and uh, uh, I told him how much it meant to me, he was he was kind of touched by it. It was pretty cool oh. because uh, you know it was uh, it's just one of those lessons that was better than pay. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's a great lesson. It's like if Han Solo can say sir, so can everyone else. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Exactly. Although I heard he called Alec Guinness just Alec. He just, didn't even. Yeah, yeah. He didn't, he didn't bother with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, what did you do before you were an actor? What was your job like before you got that part? So I didn't do you know do much aside from you know theater when I was early on. But there was a job that I had. I did have one job that was probably the best job that I've ever had outside of acting. That was after my freshman year of college. I worked for uh, 
the Washington Gas Company back in my hometown of D.C. What did you do for the gas company? We were repairing gas mains. You did yourself? You, yeah. Well, not, well, you know, I, I, the skilled work was for someone else. I was more like the guy that, you know, who they told, you know, Junior, you see that patch of earth over there? Uh, grab that jackhammer and that shovel and pull a hole in it, you know? Yeah. That, that. Oh, you got to use the jackhammer. Oh, yeah. That's good, yeah. though, huh? I was, oh, I, was in, I was a member of the International Union of Gas Workers. Were you really? Yeah. Are you still? Uh, I... <laughs> I am. I still have my union card, uh -huh. but no, no, no. <laughs> but do you was, remember any of the other gas workers? Oh was my! Was it God. like a crew you worked with? Oh my, well, we, yeah. You, you know, you're on a truck, and these are big, like 24 inch, 48 inch mains that run under the streets that serve, you know, gas to, you know, to 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 residences and businesses. You know, this is like serious stuff. So the skilled work was left to the others on the crew. We were like a bunch of pirates on a truck, just land pirates, just wandering the city. Uh, there, there was a guy that I remember, his name was Willie. And Willie was, he was about my, my height, but he was slight. He was probably about 125 pounds in his boots and helmet. Really? Uh, and he was one of those guys who I would think needed maybe a couple of tastes of whiskey in the morning to kind of calm the system. I see. You know? <laughs> The system was reliant on that in <laughs> Willie's case, but he was a wonderful guy. He was a character, and I loved him to death. And, you know, Willie would say, you know, we'd be out there working, you know, and I, you know, you're, it's hot, middle of summer, you know, you're hungry. I'm like, I'm like, Will, you know, what time is it? He's like, God damn, you can't tell story, these stories without cursing, by uh -huh. the way, with yeah, these guys. Right. He said, God damn it, Junior, I wish you learned somebody else's damn name when the house man come up, I'll buy you a watch. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, you know, the house man uh, was the guy who drove around to various work sites and uh, cleaned the porta potties. Except he also sold, uh, you know, he sold things from his truck. You know, he had, you know, he had chewing gum and you Whoa, know, well, that's cigarettes. That's the last thing and, you want to buy from that guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he probably had some whiskey as well. You know, wow. So he, he was like the porta potty guy slash. A dollar general on wheels, you know, that was his thing. So, but one day we're, uh, you know, we're having lunch and uh, sitting around the truck or whatever and uh, almost over and I, and I see Will like walking toward me. And as he approaches me, I see in his hand, it's like this slender box and, and he reaches out to me and he says, here, Junior. And it was, it was a Timex watch. Oh, wow. That he, that he had bought me. Wow. And uh, I was so, it was just such a, like a kind offering. And it kind of told me, you know, you're, you're one of us, you know, that I, I had been accepted. And, you know, I was of the brotherhood of, uh, of gas workers. Of gas workers, but it, was yeah. also, but it was also, of course, the fact that he didn't want me uh, calling his damn name anymore. You know, <laughs> that had something to do. But, but, it, but that, like, genuinely, I genuinely moved me. And he I gave still, you the gift of punctuality. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. And they I still, still have that uh, gift, by the you way. You mentioned um, using um, profane words, yeah. and uh, the movie's great. You're great at the movie. Thank you, man. And there's one thing that's really funny. Uh, I don't. I mean, I'm going to leave it to you. What was the What was the working title of the film uh, before you released it? Oh, the working title was, and if you see the movie, you'll understand. Or when uh, the working title was. <laughs> that was the name that you guys wanted to give the movie. We tried. Yeah. Yeah. Who stepped in and advised you against that? Well, well, someone with a bit, I guess, more marketing savvy than, than, <laughs> than, the, than the director, Corey Jefferson, and I said, you know, uh, if, you, uh, if you go on Google and you, you look up the movie, um, you're, you, you, it, it's not the movie that you want to sell. Yeah, yeah. Actually. I think that marketing guy was yeah. probably... Yeah. You're, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Leslie Uggams is in the movie Leslie, playing your mom. Leslie Uggams plays my mother. Um, and she was absolutely wonderful. I've been a huge fan of her for so many yeah. years. Yeah. For, for the younger uh, in your audience, Leslie Uggams is an absolute legend. Uh, she was on Roots. She was, uh, she had her own uh, uh, variety show in she 1969. She was on all, every show in the she, 70s. Every yeah. show you would see her and she would perform with Sinatra and yeah. with Sammy Davis Jr. At, you know, in Vegas, the rapping. She was, she was absolutely beautiful, glamorous, voice like a bird. And uh, 
But she and that, uh, that and Did you have a crush on her in the 70s? Oh, didn't we all? Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Yeah. Well, did I you told, tell her? I, I told her so. I told her so. The last day, I said, Leslie, I, I, I have to tell you something. I said, uh, uh, Mother, I've had a crush on you since the first day I saw you. <laughs> I, I waited till the last day because you know, it might have been a little awkward, yeah, a little yeah. distracting. <laughs> Freud would approve, Yes, I think. for sure, yeah. But it might not have helped us uh, working together. Well, I'm sure that made her feel good. Oh, God, yes. yes. I mean, yeah, she's yeah. still full of fire, you know. She, well, yeah, it's she great to me. have you here. Me. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank, Thank you, you so for much. coming. Thank you so much. I, I will see you soon. Cool. Jeffrey Wright, everybody. American Fiction is in theaters now. Friday, we'll be back with Doug McKagan. Put on down.